looking to brighten up an interior or maybe an exterior or somewhere in your home, Carla Dreher has all of these answers for you. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me. I really thought, it, let's talk about lighting because mm -hmm. it's one of the most common questions that I get and whether you are building a house, whether you're renovating, whether you're redecorating, or actually with these tips, just change out a few sure. lights in your house. It's gonna feel so much better. It's gonna affect your mood, enhance the vibe of your home and feel good. Yeah, lighting yeah. is important. It's really important, yeah, really. it's really important. So I'm gonna break it down kind of sure. room by room. Uh, the first being, and here we got a picture here, is the dining room. So this is a dining room that I did uh, last year and you can see we've got a big chandelier here. So I wanna give you the rules of hanging a dining room chandelier because mm -hmm. I get Love this question this. all the time. Yes, I was wondering myself. Myself. Okay, so you want it to be about 36 to 40 inches from the table to the top okay. of the chandelier. Now that's for an eight foot ceiling. You could see in that uh -huh. picture, that's about a 15 foot ceiling we had. Yeah. So you go about three inches for every foot. So oh. that's kind of your rule of thumb. And that's why I see a lot of like, I brought this example, like a lot of itty bitty chandeliers, sure. like this would be a very small table mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> too. And that's another thing in size. You want it to be about a third at least of the size of the table. Bigger the better. Even, bigger the better. Bigger, <laughs> okay. bigger, bigger the better. So that's dining. Okay. The second thing, which I think is going to blow your mind, is that five, every room should have five to seven sources of lighting. Wow. I know. That's Sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> so all? think about it. So it's like, so this is just one example of like, here's a source, like I put a, I always do this, and I did this in this project, is a floor lamp sure. beside a couch. That's I love a that. Really cool lamp. It's a very cool lamp, isn't it? So you, if you have a floor lamp, I mean, window lighting would be one of those pot lights, um, table lamps, sconces. So you want to have different sources of lighting. And it, the other thing is if your space is small or it's got a low ceiling, if you have different sources of lighting, it'll reflect off the ceiling and make it look bigger. So it's like a design trick Ooh, as well. That's why you're yes. the interior designer. That's what, <laughs> so put as many okay. sources of lighting as possible. So something like this something like you here. know, but this this is a floor lamp here. Mm -hmm. You know, with the table lamp over here, the sconces over here. So really layering, layering. And if you go in like two different colors, like if you choose say black and wood or black and white or gold, that'll help you in mixing. Is as brass well. a thing still? Brass is so hot. It's, 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 it's here to stay. Like okay. yeah, it's here to stay the for sure. Back. Okay, this back. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, bedroom lighting. Bedroom. Okay, oh, so I brought boy. you an example of like what to not to do and what to do. So okay. here's a bedroom that I decorated. And what you can see here is that the table lamp is really tall. Mm. Um, and I see a lot of itty bitty table lamps. So the rule of thumb is when you sit in the bed, the shade should be at your shoulder. That's a good tip. Yeah. So if you're sitting, sitting on your bed, the shade should be at your shoulder. And that apparently is the great for reading, you know, that'll be the right light. So I kind of Save brought an example eyes. of what I usually see. Is, this is cute, but it's too small, right? Sure. You want the tall. Something like this guy yes, over here. Yes, the tall lamp, yes. Okay. And then next is kitchen. All right. Kitchen, so pendants. So this is something people can do. Oh, we're not going pendants. We're going in space-saving okay, lighting. So if you do first. not have room for a floor lamp or table lamp, I've been attaching them like I did in this project to the wall. Interesting. Isn't that cool, right? Like okay. with this swing arm. So we didn't have room for an actual lamp yeah. here. I also did that in my own bedroom, actually. Really? I don't have, I have a really small side table. So I put a sconce instead of... Sure. A lamp, so that really helps in also space cool saving. Also cool that living wall. That was pretty yeah, I know, that's really cool. I know, that was that's a very cool neat. project. Okay. Um, and you mentioned the kitchen. Which the kitchen. I think people do look at their islands and, you know, builders special and they always put those teeny tiny. Teeny tiny, right? That's what my friends have mentioned and yes. so I'm wondering, yeah, what do you do? So what you do with that is you want, again, for height, about 30 inches off the counter. Okay. okay, and then about 24 inches between them. So that's your rule of thumb. Okay. And you can totally change up the look, right? So mm -hmm. you could go like that rattan one over there, could be something, you know, a look, I brought a white one here. They're not, people don't think of changing up their pendants, but it totally changes the look. And again, more substantial. More Just substantial. Like I always think the... bigger mm -hmm. is better. If you're gonna, if you think it's too small, it definitely is. Go for bigger. Now, yeah. just really quick, exterior lighting, also important, yes? Really important, yes. I mean, really important from a safety point of view or whatever, but I like right now, too, the string lights. If you're yes. outside, they're selling them everywhere, those string lights that you can put outside. A little bit just of romance so cute. for your yeah. summer soiree. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for being Thanks here. Thanks for having me. like more information, carladreherdesign.com.